We need to stop global warming, and we know what it will take. Reduce greenhouse gas emissions to near zero by 2050. One big part of the problem is road transport. It accounts for 21% of total global carbon dioxide emissions, and that share is rising. In order to keep the Paris Agreement goal of limiting warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius within reach, we must rapidly reduce greenhouse gas emissions from transport. We can do this with zero-emission vehicles powered by renewable electricity and hydrogen. Zero-emission vehicles can reduce greenhouse gas emissions as much as 80% over the vehicle's life cycle. That is, counting emissions produced at every stage. From extracting and processing raw materials, through manufacturing, charging, and eventual disposal. There is no way to achieve this with conventional cars powered by internal combustion engines, even if we fuel them with biofuels or natural gas, or make them hybrids. Zero emission vehicles, primarily battery electric vehicles, are the only technology that can decarbonize road transport as quickly as we need to, at a feasible cost. The average car stays on the road 15 years or more. So to reach the Paris Agreement goal for 2050, we need almost all new car sales around the world to be zero emission by 2035. We've made progress. A shift to battery electric vehicles is underway. More and more manufacturers are committing to the transition. More and more consumers are choosing battery electric vehicles. And leading governments have stepped up with policies and other measures to help surmount barriers of supply, infrastructure, investment and information. But more can be done, and must be done, to quicken the pace of the transition to zero-emission vehicles. The more countries that commit to 100% zero-emission vehicle sales, the faster investment will shift, and the faster costs will come down. The zero-emission vehicle transition will bring benefits in addition to the climate benefits, cleaner air, lower costs to consumers, and it's essential if we're to align with the Paris goals and keep global warming below 1.5 degrees Celsius.